much, Nora. That was so refreshing in so many ways. Uh, okay, our next um, featured artist is Malik El Madri, and he's a Yemeni American poet whose work delves into the liminal, the marginal, and the moment where meaning is no longer <laughs> needed. Uh, please help me welcome him to appear and let's clap. And I think um, they each do a different job of um, saying what I want to say, I suppose. Can you close to the wall? Yes, please. Okay, this first one is called Masbaha. It's a shorter poem. <clears throat> Once I dreamt, and there was a circle of fire, and a circle of people, and the people circled the fire, and the fire circled the people, and the people were warm, and they were burning alive, and everyone was chaos, and everything was fine. Uh, the second, uh, the second piece I have is called. It's called Or. Uh, I'm just gonna jump in with this one. Or. I'm riding my way back in the wrong direction. Or maybe I'm actually moonwalking. Or this is a kind of fast. M. J. spent thirty days on nothing but water when his revelation came. He was praying to Bobby Brown, worshiping the burning bush shuffling beneath his feet, feet as beautiful and incomprehensible as the Quran is to me. And now I'm thinking, how much water did Isa walk? Was it a month's worth? And is an ocean enough to make me a god, to produce my own poetry, prophecy, to write me into verse out of prayer and thirst? This one's called Adhan on Vibrate. At least five times a day, you call to see if I've eaten, prayed. Such bread the body becomes. And is alive, alive, if it wants to be true, to rest like the rest, their rest and residue, dailiness. <laughs> how to tell you about hunger without eating the house how to answer without telling you about the body sleeping next to me naked dressed in the sky in a blanket soft as a sujada how to ask you about her about sleep without telling you that I only sometimes sleep at home with men indoors how to ask, how to ask you about holding, about holding my breath, how to pray at the peripheral, and how to eat what's left, when what's left are the seconds left over. And this uh, last piece is called uh, Thinking About It Over a Cigarette at the Coney's House of Leon. <laughs> For <laughs> two feet into the infinite, and I'm thinking to myself, I haven't paid a parking ticket in over a decade. I'm pretty sure someone is after me in every city I've been in. Only I know the feeling came first. Some statements speak for themselves. 
the dead can speak for themselves and choose to say nothing. So let's say nothing when we pass a cemetery two feet into the infinite and I'm thinking to myself, even if it takes forever to get back, I'll still have forever to do it and even longer to want to again. No wonder the ceiling fan eventually lends to wind. No wonder we write in threes while the apple never makes it to our stomach as the apple. What a masticated mess it's all become. Such noise and narrative, such chewing. You'd think hell was a kitchen where all the brown boys go to cook. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you.